I guess it's, I know it's a high grade side. Every time I'm here, I give you guys a movie review, which is basically called The Lost. Uh, actually, no, not The Lost Boys. Uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, anyways, um, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Me and my girlfriend, we were just watching it, right? We were just watching it, and uh, it was a pretty long movie, it really was. I think this is the first time one of the Terminator movies went almost, went all, I think almost up to three hours. I think I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, so, yeah. Now, one thing, one thing, uh, I know some of you guys probably wondering, like, have you seen the first movie? Yes, I've seen the first movie, but there's not really much to really to talk about basically in regards to the first movie because basically basically in the first movie you know were you know I wouldn't say the same Terminator or something like that. I wouldn't say that, but it was a lot more different of, of a different Terminator that was basically was supposed to go after Sarah Connor because that she was supposed to have a baby and she was supposed to supposed to have the supposed to have that baby. And basically you know John Connor was supposed to be the one is that he is supposed to die and also the mother also well too so they can disrupt the past and and basically in, into the future and stuff like that. I really don't look at Arnold Schwarzenegger really being a bad guy in some movies and stuff like that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does. I just don't think it really fits his style just being, you know, just being like the bad guy basically in the movie and stuff like that in the first movie. The first movie is, yes, it's really good, it's really good. But there's just not really much to really to talk about in regards of the of, of the first movie. Now, basically in the second movie, basically in the second movie, we see John Carter. John John Carter. He's uh, he doesn't really have really much of a family. Uh, he he really doesn't. You know, even though he's living with his foster parents, for, even though I, I I guess I would say his foster parents probably do care about him, or probably not. I really don't know, and that's basically what it basically what it basically feels to me. So, so yeah. But I definitely do enjoy and just definitely do enjoy the Judgment Day, the Judgment Judge, Judgment Day of the movie. I definitely do think it was really good. It's it's worth to watch watching the movie. It really actually is. But even though especially especially with the first movie also as well too, check out the first one. I would definitely will. I would. Uh, it's not, I, I've already seen the first one. So I'm not saying this. I would definitely would check out the first one because it's definitely worth it. Because, like I said, right, it just doesn't really talk really that much, basically, in the first movie. Because even though the second movie is just that you see Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, he's basically he's basically a guy. He's just like like a Terminator. He's looking for the same. He's looking for these different outfits and stuff like that. He when he goes to, into the bar and beats up people and stuff like that and. And then he ends up getting the bike and stuff like that. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why they rehashed that basically in the first movie and now into the second movie. I don't know. Maybe they just maybe that's what they really wanted to do and stuff like that. Maybe that's what they really wanted to do. I, I'm assuming that I'm assuming that Arnold Schwarzenegger probably does love Harley Davidson motorcycles and stuff like that, especially the shotgun that he has uh, that that he really has. And you also that when this when you see the shotgun that Arnold Schwarzenegger really has. Is basically he can fit it in into the bike. I don't know how he did that, but that's 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 so. One of my, one of my favorite parts, basically, in this movie, it's pretty much one of my all-time favorites. It's basically the beginning, the beginning, you know, basically in, into the movie where he goes up to the guy and snatches the snatches you know, the the shotgun, and then he ends up taking the glasses from the from the one of the owners of the store. I think it's the owners of the store or something. No, not store, but uh, the bike club or something like that. Some something like that. So, yeah, I mean. It, so, so yeah, and I thought I thought that really helped her. I don't think I don't think I don't think Arno Arno was not playing like to eliminate the guy. I don't think he really wasn't. I think he was just basically just going up to him and stuff like that. I mean, it's quite surprising Arno Arno did not really say really much to him because when he heard that gunshot, like, like uh oh, <laughs> you better hide because he's he was about to get him. But I just I just don't really I just don't think he really was and stuff like that. So yeah, now. Okay, so anyways, so anyways, I'm gonna talk about Sarah Connor. Now, Sarah Connor is pretty much is pretty much I think the main female protagonist basically when it comes into these movies. That's what it basically what it feels to me. However, some people may think that John Connor is pretty much one of the main one of the main characters based in this movie. Yes and no. But I say that Sarah Connor is pretty much yes, because if like I said, if you go back to the first movie, because you know, the the Terminator, you know, Going after going after Sarah, 
was basically just to kill Sarah and just also to kill John Connor also as well too. Because that was that was the Terminator's, Terminator's mission to do to disrupt the future and you know other things and stuff like that and it's, it's stuff like that. And, you know, that's basically what it feels to me, it's stuff like that. And so yeah. I mean Sarah Connor she's kinda of a very over emotional girl woman, I will say it as it was a mother figure of a of a uh, of her, and the reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this, I definitely do understand. I definitely do understand when you like you have a kid and you like somebody's like who's trying to do do, do these things and you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to go into full details or anything like that. But the reason why I'm saying this is because because that's what basically feels to me. Basically, it feels to me because even though that's her only son is John Connor, because that's her only son. That's all. That's all she really has and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if the movie, if the first one really explained that she did have a husband or basically boyfriend, which I've kind of forgot because I'm not really sure. I think it's probably her husband or her boyfriend. I really don't know and stuff like that. And that's why, that's why basically in the first movie, like I said before, the Terminator was supposed to eliminate Sarah and John Connor also well too. Because if they didn't, then that would have been, because if he, if he didn't, even though that would have been bad and stuff like that. And, you know, that's basically, that's, what, that's basically what it basically feels to me. But... I definitely do love the, the, the second movie. The second movie is just absolutely just phenomenal. Now let's talk about John Connor. John Connor is pretty much is pretty much like I said before, like I said before, I think he's one of the second the second people basically main in in the movie also as well too. One thing I didn't really quite like about the second about the about the second movie is that I really wish they were in the future and in, in the future you know like they're battling all these terminators and stuff, and stuff. You know sometimes they really do show that. Basically, other different movies, but however, I don't quite like it really all that much and stuff like that. I just really wish they would just focus on the era instead of just going to, into the past and saving John Carter and stuff like that. And you know, because even though John Carter, he pretty much trusts one of his own Terminators, which he sent back into the past, sent back into the past to try to stop T1000, which T1000 is basically is basically. It's supposed. It's basically one of the Terminators is supposed to kill John Connor, so disrupt the future and stuff like that. And, and basically, basically, really, yeah, she is. And you basically you see John Connor. John, John Connor. John Connor is not just you know, your average you know teenager that you basically as you see basically into a movie, but you basically see him as a mature character based in his movie also, also well too. I mean, he's not dumb. He's not stupid or anything like that. The kid's very, very smart, even though when he took up money out of the, you know, the, the ATM machine and stuff like that, you know, when he did that and stuff like that. But, and I really would say also as well, too, because looking at John Connor, you know, and basically what his so-called family, I would say, foster parents, I guess they did really, did really did not care about him really all that much. That's basically what it feels to me and stuff like that. And basically, and I can just tell John Connor... To be honest with you, I think John Connor is, is just kind of like reaction to his mother also as well too, because that's what it kind of feels to me. I think they really did a great, really great job just to basically build John Connor, John Connor just basically having that relationship and that attitude as his mother, because that's what it basically really feels, basically what it feels, uh, basically what it feels to me. So, so yeah. Now the next, now the next character I definitely want to talk about. I definitely want to talk about the guy who who was the creator, I guess, the creator of. Skynet or something like that, or maybe not, or stuff like that, or or maybe not. Now I don't know if he were if he really was the CEO of Skynet in the first place. I don't know why. Maybe that's something. It was just such a big future that he really wanted to add it. That he really wanted to add it on. But however, if that were to continue, then that will disrupt things based into the future. It just basically look look at the beginning of the of the ter the Terminator Two Judgment Day, you could just see like the Terminators just going after. I would say the resistance of the of the, uh, the resistance means that the people who are trying to trying to stop the Terminators from taking over the world and stuff like that and stuff like that. I don't want to get in this whole debate about you know like robots like taking over the world and stuff like that. I really don't really get into that kind of stuff. Even though I'm just basically I'm just saying, but. You know, so, so yeah. But anyways, but anyways, but anyways. So, I mean, I think the 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 beginning of the movie it does make really good sense about what's happening. But I just really don't care for it really that much. I'm not saying I hate it. Said I just really wish they would focus on the future. But even though going back in the past, some people from some probably will say, yeah, that is a big deal. To be honest with you. I think it is. I think it is. But I mean, I'm just being hypothetical, you know. And that's just basically what I'm just saying. But when you got the black guy, you know, it's just basically 
basically what he based what he's doing this is stuff like that you know and, and stuff and it's especially with sarah connor i forgot the mat i think i've already said this i'm not so sure that i feel to me that sarah connor i feel i feel it feel to me that sarah connor is basically she is a very emotional person so like that you could just tell like you know she didn't really trust anybody you know and stuff like that and even though when she fall saw the terminator that that's when she began to scream and stuff like that. And you know, she thought she was gonna get killed killed again or no one not one was gonna get killed again, but she thought she was gonna get killed uh, gonna get killed because of the same terminator and stuff like that. So yeah. I definitely do think it was a very good movie. I definitely do think it really was. I do believe that Michael Bay pretty much made this movie. I'm not really for sure. I think he did because he has uh, basically those special effects that makes the movie look like it's realistic and stuff like that. Now, the final person I want to talk about basically in this, basically in this movie is known as Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know I talked about it a little bit. So basically what Arnold Schwarzenegger is, is just that he's kind of like he kind of like turned into like a a, a father figure. It means it means that it means that. It means that you know that's basically basically what it pretty much it basically it feels to me. It feels like it feels to me that he's learning and adapting like being a adult or something like that. That's what basically it feels basically what it feels to me because even though when you know basically honor just basically you know, the you know basically what I want to say the Terminator, you know just telling him just telling John Connor and say hey everything's gonna be okay. Hey you promise because not to not to not to hurt anybody. And you know like I like the the one part in the movie. Where, where they're in the building, where they're trying to get the, you know, the chip in the hand and stuff for the Terminator. One thing I really do like about that in that movie also too, because they're like, when, and you know, like when John Carter says, "Hey, you promised me. Hey, you promised," and then like, you know, uh, Terminator said like, "Trust me," and you know, and I really did like that, and I thought that was really funny, and I thought it really was, and stuff like that, because I could just tell like. Hey, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. You have to trust me. So, so yeah, I definitely do think it was it was a good movie. To be honest with you, if I had to rate this movie, just to be honest with you, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna rate it a ten out of ten. It's a beautiful movie. It's really good. I was gonna give it a lower rating, but I said no. I want to give this give this one a very good rating. So, so yeah. Now, basically, as as, as I know, basically, what the third movie is. The third movie is is just kind of it's just like I don't I I, I do need to watch it. Because I've heard a lot of complaints about the third movie because it's, it didn't really live up to the hype of the second one, the second one, the first one. So I mean, I don't know. That's just basically what it basically feels like. But like I said, for Terminator Two, Judgment Day, Terminator Two, Judgment Day, ten out of ten, very good movie. But I will check out the the third movie and basically give you guys my honest opinion. So so yeah. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I hope you guys. Uh, like this review if you guys don't like it just give me a thumbs down or if you guys like it give me a thumbs up but yeah and with this it was awesome guys are take care of hope you have a wonderful day uh don't forget to uh subscribe please consider subscribing uh please hit the like button give me a thumbs up and please hit the notification button as well too just let me know you guys watch my videos and please leave a comment below and with i love you guys take care hope you have a wonderful day take care god bless remember just i love you guys please please stay remember stay blessed love you guys take care